curl friends welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl Ava your loyal curl friend and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you what I do with my curly hair in an entire week so if you're interested definitely stay tuned um, as you can see I've already started to wash my hair this is day one I'm using my Jamaican black castor oil shampoo and I'm scrubbing my scalp and then I'm rinsing that off and then I'm gonna go in with my clarifying shampoo by Eden's Body Work. I like to clarify my hair bi-weekly, so that's what I'm doing here. And again, I'm focusing on my scalp just to remove all that buildup, and then I'm going to allow the shampoo to run down the lengths of my hair. And then after shampooing my hair, I go in with my conditioner, and I'm using the Shea Moisture one, and I typically use my Aussie Moist, but I ran out, so this will have to do for now and I'm putting this all over my hair and just trying to smooth it in and then I'm separating my hair so that it's easier for me to detangle and yeah just using my detangling wet brush to break it through my hair and detangle my hair properly so that's what you'll see here I also have a video on this already so you guys feel free to check that out it's in my playlist my natural hair routine you've seen me do this before but if you haven't definitely check that out and then I'm going to show you how much hair I lost so here we are after I got out of the shower I'm gonna go in with my African Pride leave-in cream you guys have seen me use this so many times already this is my OG staple product I love it now typically I would separate my hair and then use this one product and section my hair and apply it but this time I'm going to go in with a gel or a curling custard sorry so I decided that I was only going to add a small amount to my entire head and then going with the gel and section off my hair that way if that makes sense so that's what you see me doing here and then I'm going in with my pattern brush and I'm just smoothing the Camille Rose curl maker custard in my hair and raking it with my fingers first and then I go in with the brush and then yeah you can see I'm just making cute little curls cute little ringlets and then I'm scrunching my hair up as well this is what my whole head looks like once I've applied the gel all over. So as you can see, I've only used two products and then I move straight into diffusing my hair. And as you can see, I'm diffusing my hair upwards. I'm loading the curls in the diffuser and then I'm pushing it upwards. And this is going to create a lot more volume for me. So I like to do it this way. You can also flip your head over, hang your hair in the front and then, um, diffuse that way that also encourages a lot of volume so that's basically what I'm doing again I have a full routine on this but that's basically the gist and then I'm just drying um, the roots and here I am showing you some of the curls and the ringlets so then I'm get ready getting ready for bed so I'm just gonna tie my hair up in my silk uh, headscarf so I'm just showing you guys how I tie that and how I put my hair away I don't just sleep recklessly we gotta tie our hair up to reduce frizz and all that stuff so yeah good night <laughs> okay so this is day two the morning of I gotta go run some errands as per usual this is my life and I'm just getting ready in the morning so I remove that silk um, headscarf and this is what my hair is looking like you can see my curls are intact my hair looks super moisturized and so I'm proceeding to um, break apart the curls and sometimes I like to go in different directions so if my curl is going counterclockwise I like to detangle it counterclockwise this is going to ensure more volume and also that the curls don't find their way back into each other and then relock itself if that makes sense so that's basically what I'm doing here and you can see the two different sides one has volume and the other one doesn't so I'm gonna do it to both sides and you can see what I'm talking about here about going in different directions so that the curls don't lock into each other so yeah that's basically what I do on day two I open up the ringlets give my hair some volume um, because it might still be a little bit flat considering it is day two and then I just fluff it out try to pick it and style my hair to the side and no middle part <laughs> so yeah okay, so literally just woke up and 
day three day in the life curly hair um after running errands yesterday i literally just came home and i tied my hair back up and put it in a bonnet asap i don't let my hair out throughout the day because it'll get super frizzy super matted and my baby will tug on my hair all day long so to avoid all that i either throw it up in a high bun or a pineapple or put on my bonnet right away which is what i did so i'm gonna go look like a human being because i gotta go run some errands today i gotta go to sephora yay fun not not really so i gotta get up and fix my face and i'll show you guys what my hair looks like on day three and hopefully there's nothing to be done day three is usually my best day in my humblest opinion well you look at that she's a whole human being like <laughs> hello oh that's a lot of red okay um excuse the lighting it's been super gloomy and dreary the last little while it snowed today for the first time hello was not expecting that but anyways um yeah the lighting sucks but let's uncover this reveal this day three hair and let's see what we've got i'm gonna take off my bonnet and i'm just gonna give it a little shake oh oh okay Okay, it still looks good. I'm not gonna lie, this looks really good still. And this is why when you, you know, get home from running your errands or your day or whatever, it's so important to like throw your hair up, put it away. If you don't and you let your hair stay out all day, the chances of it getting matted and tangled, I mean, you know, it increases. So you wanna make sure that you put your hair up. But yeah, oh my God, this looks really good. Do you see why day three hair is the best day? I mean, excuse the background noise. My daughter's going off right now. But, oh my god, this looks really good. So, I'll show you the back real quick. This is the back. And it's looking really good. The curls has really set and like, they just look really good. And I have a really good definition right now. So, that's really nice. And yeah, I don't even need to spritz my hair. I'm going to come in real close so you guys can see. It's not too frizzy and to be honest i like to welcome frizz because when you have low density hair your hair is like on the finer side and you don't have a lot of volume kind of welcome the frizz a little bit so that it gives you volume but for me i don't have to do that and i don't have to pick my hair and i don't want to touch it too much because i don't want to disturb all of this this looks good so day three hair i'm not going to do anything but i'm going to run some errands today and when i get back i will check in and see the state of my hair and how it's looking but i don't expect it to be um any real change like look at that when you have a good routine, when you have a good routine, sis. Okay, so I literally just got back in and I'm not gonna lie, I look the exact same. Like, I didn't go outside, I was inside. So yeah, that's why I pretty much look the same. My curls are intact, like no frizz. Well, a little bit, you can see. There, there's a little frizz, there's some frizz, but considering, you know, I was out a considerable amount of time, albeit inside, indoors, um, it still looks pretty good. My curls are intact. So I'm just gonna, you know, go hop in the shower, get this face off. But before I do that, I'm just gonna put on my bonnet. Yes, the one with the hole in it. This is like <laughs> the easiest um, day in the life, to be honest. There's like no real struggle yet. That's, that's just how it is for me, fortunately. I'm fortunate. Okay, so I'm putting my hair in like an upwards pineapple, as they like to call it. So here's what it is. But I'm not putting on a hair tie or anything like that. And then I'm just going to put my bonnet on top and stuff my hair in. Just gonna stuff it like that. And that's it. Just nicely tuck it in, swipe it up. Okay. And that's how I leave my hair. No hair ties are necessary. Otherwise, it sometimes can leave like that mark. The, the hair tie can leave like a mark on the hair. And I don't really like that. So I just let it go freely. So yeah. That's it, and I'm just gonna go get ready for bed now. The day is done, the hair is still intact, and stay tuned for day four. Okay, so we made it to day four, and I ended up putting a scarf over the bonnet last night just because you know how that bonnet that bonnet moves. It'd be creeping and crawling during the night, and you don't know where it is, and I just want to make sure it stayed on my head. So I'm gonna take off my satin wrap. You can see my bonnet still there, still intact, y'all. Yeah. My daughter's like right at my feet, so if I'm looking down, that's why. Um, okay, so we're gonna take this off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so let's just 
let's shake this out. I mean, do you see the importance of wearing a bonnet? My hair still looks moisturized enough. And you can see some of them are clumping together a little bit, but for the most part, the curls are still individual curls. So that's really good. So I'm just gonna fluff it out a little bit just so I can assess it and see where I'm at and what needs to be done on day four. I can see what I wanna do. Now, typically on day four, if I'm wearing my hair out all the time, it will start to get tangled and matted. If I don't wear my bonnet, if I don't wear my headscarf, it will, it will get matted by like day three for sure. Now the back of my hair is most problematic. It gets really tangled and the front of my hair, it takes longer to get tangled. So I like to make sure that I'm detangling, doing like a soft detangle on the back, just because when it comes to wash day, I'm not struggling with like three or four days worth of matted hair, if that makes sense. So you can see like right here, it's a little bit like if I can't put my fingers through it, you know it's like a problem like if it's really stuck in there then I like to undo those same thing here it's always the back like who's back there like what are you guys doing like why you see it it has no curl it has no shape it has nothing compared to the front you can see more definition now I'm not huge on definition like I could do without it because again I have low density hair so I like volume and when I put too much products it does weigh down my hair even if it's like a water based product it depends on the amount that I use so I have to be really careful. So what I am going to do today is show you guys how I refresh my curls and I'm most likely going to do a voiceover for this part because I do hear some noises in the background that I don't like. Hold on. Okay so I just quickly put the top half of my hair down, um, up. And I'm just gonna show you again what the back looks like. So you can see, I mean, these pieces are disgusting. Disgusting, right? We can't have that. So I'm just gonna turn around and show you guys. This is what it looks like. There's like no definition at the back. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a voiceover and show you guys how I revive these curls. And I do want to note that I don't touch the parts of my hair that are in good condition, like with the curls intact, it looks moisturized, it looks okay. I don't touch that just because I don't want to over manipulate my hair for one and two, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm not going to do that. And I find that I'll lose more volume if I just keep adding more products to my hair. So I really try not to because I added enough on wash day. So I don't actually need to continuously keep adding products because that's going to actually reverse what I want it to do it's just gonna make my hair go flat over time because again once you keep layering products whether it's the first day or the second day or third day and you keep adding on it's just gonna weigh down my type of hair from my hair type so yeah I'm just gonna show you guys what I do so I start off by finger detangling my hair separating those curls making sure there are no more knots I don't take a brush directly to my curls well I try not to but I try separating it with my fingers first and then I go in with my spray bottle put some water on my hair just to dampen it and then I will go in with a brush if I need to then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my African pride leave-in cream once again I'm not being super heavy handed with this only because there's still some on my hair from wash day. <laughs> dry and you can see it looks so much better okay we got some ringlets action and nothing is clumped together you can see the curls okay so we're just gonna take the top down and just blend it into the rest I mean look at that it's like nothing happened and that's usually how I go about it I don't do edges or anything like that. Like, nobody got time for edges. Got two kids. <laughs> you ain't got time for edges. Okay, so you can see it looks seamless. It looks great. And now this will carry me through to another two or three days, believe it or not, if I maintain it. 
um, but I am in the house today, so I won't be letting my hair out. I'll actually be putting my hair up, but I do want this to dry, air dry a little bit more before I put it up because if I put it up while it's wet, it's gonna take the shape of the hair tie and it's just, I'm just gonna lose the shape of my curls. So um, yeah, this is what day four is looking like. This is how I refresh my curls. I don't add any more gel to it because it's not necessary. I added gel on wash day um, and I, again, I don't wanna pile on layers and layers of products on my hair gel is still okay we made it to day five um i did a late night walmart run last night and i came home and i did not put on my bonnet so this is what my hair looks like well yeah i slept on it obviously and we're just gonna take it down and do a quick style today because i gotta head back out so this is what i like to do so i'm just gonna either play some music or do a voiceover and you guys could just see what I'm doing but this is what my hair looks like after being up in a ponytail or a high bun all night this is what it looks like it's not too too bad it didn't really take the shape of the hair tie so that's good but um doesn't really matter because I'll be styling it today this is what the back looks like situation kind of messy i like it like that not too perfect it just it's just a whole vibe when it's like a little bit messy it looks more effortless like i'm not trying too hard you know what i'm saying but i'm so trying to be cute but you know just not trying too hard so yeah that's what it looks like and i just tuck the bangs underneath the hair at the back um and yeah that's it super cute day five hair um you know if you lose any definition or your curls aren't popping like that or your hair has gone completely flat or you're just trying to stretch your hair until wash day. This is definitely a great go-to style. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go run out, do my thing, do my thing, and I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow, day six. Let's see what the hair is looking like. Okay, so we made it to day six, yay! Okay, so this is the part where I detangle my hair and prep my hair for wash day. Um, so yeah, I'm just separating my hair into four sections and I'm detangling my hair. I'm spraying a little bit of water, not enough to really drench my hair, just a light mist on my hair so it's easier to detangle. And then I'm going to go in with my oil blend. And if you're interested in the type of oils that I put together to oil my scalp with and give myself a nice oil treatment, um, I will put that in the description box below. But yeah, I'm long overdue for an oil treatment. Uh, it's been just over a month, so that's why I'm doing that today. So I'm just unraveling the curl, uh, the twist, and then section by section, I'm going to apply a little bit of oil to my scalp, massage that in with my fingers, and then go in with my brush to further distribute the product, uh, the oils, and then just rake it in. This stimulates the blood flow on my scalp as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that over my whole head. I also have a video on this on how I oil my hair, so go check that out if you're interested. And yeah, after all of that, 
um, oiling and then brushing my scalp I go in with my scalp massager for three to five minutes and that's pretty much it I'm gonna leave this oil on my hair for the entire day and even overnight so yeah and then on day seven I will start the whole process all over again wash and condition my hair and yeah, that's a week in the life of my curly hair. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share it with your friends, girl. Don't be stingy. And I will see you in another one. And in the meantime, in between time, you girl, girl, bye. <laughs>